Nintendo Switch Sports has a point system used to earn outfits, equipment and accessories that you can use to customise your sports mates and me's in the game. You get a certain amount of points for completing a game and then additional ones based on conditions being met within the match. It is likely that these multipliers are what the website was referring to as achievements, which is disappointing to say the least. But anyway, how do these points work? You get points for completing a match, as I said. You get 30 points for completing a match in all sports except for bowling, which gives you 40. That's because it's a longer game, so you are compensated for it a little bit more. You get additional points for winning matches, or in the case of bowling, ranking in the top three. This can be anywhere from a 1.2 times multiplier in soccer and tennis to a two times multiplier for winning survival bowling. And then multipliers based on conditions come in to get those points up. Now, multipliers go in a certain order and it multiplies the current value. So let's look at this bowling example that I did typically whilst I wasn't recording. In this example, I came first in survival bowling and got strikes or spares for every round. We start with the standard play bonus, then we get our ranking bonus or winning bonus if this is a different game. This multiplies it by 2 in here, so we get 80 points. Then because I got a strike, I got a 1.1 times multiplier going up to 88 points because that's 1.1 times 80. Then we get a 1.05 multiplier for getting 3 strikes in the same game. So what this tells us is that you don't just get the highest bonus in a game, if you hit that condition, it counts, i.e. you get both the multiplier for one strike and three. The more difficult achievement doesn't cancel out the easier one. This is proven again with the five strike bonus granting another 1.05 multiplier. Again, it multiplies that current score. It then counts the five spare bonus, then the scoring 100 pins in one game, and then the 1.05 times multiplier for 200 points in that game. This grants me a total of 118 points in this example. So what does this tell us? It tells us that bonuses are cumulative and that the more achievements you get, the higher your score is. It's worth noting that in each example, the multipliers have attached themselves in the same order. You always get the win, then the bowling strike bonuses, then the spares, then the pin totals. Same in Shambara. You get your win bonus and then you get your attack and then your defense bonuses. So arguably knowing the multipliers will help get you the most points. I've seen a whole heap of multipliers whilst playing, but I also do have a full list of multipliers in the game. So I'm going to go through them and we'll start with bowling. You get a multiplier for hitting 100 pins, 200 pins, or a perfect score of 300 pins. There is a single strike bonus for knocking down all the pins in the first frame, which gets you a 1.1 times multiplier, and then three and five strikes in the same game as well. This gets you a 1.05 times multiplier each. You can get a multiplier for five spares in a single game, which is a 1.1 times multiplier. And the last one is a bit tricky. When bowling, you can do a split where you have pins on both sides of the lane that are difficult to get. If you can knock down all of those pins in the same last frame and convert it into a spare, you get the spare converted multiplier. I've only performed this offline, so I don't actually know the multiplier amount yet. Next is badminton. This has three different multipliers. If you and the opponent both get to match point and get to a deuce, you get the juice multiplier. If you complete a long constant rally, you get the long rally multiplier, which from the trailer I've seen as a 1.1 times multiplier. There is also a multiplier for repeated smash shots. I'm not exactly sure how I triggered it, but I did get five in a row in the game that I played. So I would say to aim for consistent smash shots in a row. Next is tennis. Tennis has the same deuce and long rally multipliers as badminton, but there is also right on the line where you hit the ball and it lands directly on the line, making it difficult to tell if it's in or out. This is a bit of a tough one to trigger and grants a 1.1 times multiplier. The last tennis multiplier is called rocket serve, where you perform a serve, you throw the ball up. If you swing down with good velocity and perfect timing, you hit a faster serve. This is a rocket serve and you get a multiplier for it. Volleyball has juice and long rally, same as before, but it also has one called teamwork. When you perform perfect hits in volleyball, a small multiplier appears which gives extra smash power and speed. If you get this combo up high to at least three times and score, you get this multiplier for your points. Next is Chandra, and there are four multipliers to get here. An attack bonus is gained through dealing a certain amount of successful attacks, and Guard Doctor is obtained by successfully guarding a number of times during a match granting a 1.1 times multiplier. Final round is simple to obtain. In a match with three rounds, you need to win a round each and then get a draw. This makes you go to a sudden death round with a tiny arena, and it gives a 1.1 times multiplier for playing in it. There is one more point bonus called reversal win. You get this one after almost being knocked out when you're like right on the edge and you see the warning sign come up. And lastly, we have football or soccer. 
This has interesting multipliers to try for. MVP is obtained if you score the most goals in a match, much like in real soccer with Man of the Match. Overtime is obtained through being at a draw when the three minute match is up and then playing through extra time until someone scores. There are also another two called Knockout and Nice Play, but I haven't managed to trigger them yet. It's worth noting that they are there, and I'll leave a pinned comment in the comments with more information when we find out exactly how to trigger them. But that is everything I can find on multipliers and how they work in the game. I've got a video with the two fastest games to earn points, so make sure you check that out next. Which multipliers are you aiming for, or do you know something that I don't from this? Please let me know down in the comments, and thank you to WipeoutJack7 for the assistance with the multiplier titles. Please check them out in the description below, they are really cool. If you've enjoyed this, please hit like and subscribe for some awesome Nintendo Switch Sports content on my channel, and thank you so much for watching. Thanks to my patrons like Rain, I Love Waffles 1311, and Sick Hippie for the amazing support through Patreon. I've been Master Trainer Peter, and I'll see you soon.